Now, when you look at a bulb, the part that produces light is called the filament. This is the diagram of a bulb, and if you've ever looked closely into a bulb, you will see a wire, a coiled wire inside the bulb, and this coiled wire is what we are calling the filament. Now, this is a filament bulb. Of course, we have some bulbs that do not have this kind. We have other bulbs that are having a new kind of technology, a new way of producing this light, and definitely those are not the kinds of bulbs I'm talking about here. I'm talking about filament bulbs. Now, how is this filament able to produce light? Well, when this is connected to a circuit, for example, a bulb, current gets in, and when the current gets into this bulb, it heats it up. When this filament heats up, it glows. So when it glows, this heat energy, when it's converted into light energy, that is how the light is produced. So, so coming up is the voltage current relationship for the bulb filament. We shall set up our apparatus just like here. We have two dry cells. We have an ammeter that is going to be measuring the current. And then we have a real start that is going to or a rear start or a resistor with variable resistance. This is what we'll be using to adjust the amount of current flowing through the circuit. This right here is our torch bulb, and this definitely in our torch bulb is what we is where we are having our filament, and definitely to the switch. Now across the terminals or across the ends of this filament, we are having the voltmeter. Definitely, this voltmeter is going to be giving us the potential difference across the filament right in here, and this ammeter will be giving us the current that is flowing through the filament. So we will be examining or we will be analyzing the current voltage characteristics of this filament, the filament inside this bulb. So when we close the switch, we will first of all adjust this rheostat. When we adjust this rheostat, we adjust it in such a way that we set it to a very high resistance so that we begin with a low current. When we begin with the low current, then we go ahead and read off this low current and the voltage right there. And we re uh, measure and record the values of current and voltage when the resistance is very low. We will then adjust this rheostat so that we get other values of current and voltage. Now remember, as we are getting our values of current and voltage, we are supposed to be recording them in a certain table with a column of current in amperes and another column for voltage in volts. So in short, you repeat the procedures of adjusting the rheostat to get new values of voltage and current. And of course, when we get our new values of voltage and current, we'll go ahead and plot a graph of voltage against current. And when we plot the graph, we realize that the voltage current relationship of a filament bulb is non linear and this simply confirms to us that the filament in a bulb is a non ohmic conductor this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for Kisembo Academy this is Arnold Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence